What's up team, Michael here. So are you interested in getting a competitive advantage over everyone else at your gym? If you answered yes, then stick around because in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can do that by filming your workouts and how that alone will help you increase your performance way faster than everyone else. And if you're someone who just happened to stumble in this video and you don't do CrossFit, don't go away because this is gonna to apply to you even if you don't do CrossFit. This will apply to any sport or even if you just work out at a commercial gym. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get into this video. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Michael Groff and my channel is all about helping new CrossFitters get fitter, faster, and stronger. So if that interests you, consider joining the team by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. But if you're already a part of the team, Thanks so much for checking out another video. So since starting CrossFit, I've learned a lot of things that have helped me and continue to help me get better every single day. But I would say the biggest thing that I've learned so far is how important it is to film my daily training sessions. And just to clarify, I don't mean filming just PRs, I mean filming everyday training sessions. In fact, there are a few reasons on why you should actually start filming your training sessions. The first reason is it helps give you self-awareness on how you are performing in the gym. There are a ton of bad habits that we have when we're training that we don't even know we're doing, and they're easily fixable if only we knew we were doing them. So for example, when you're doing squat cleans or power cleans, it's good to have good head position during the clean. You don't wanna be tilting your head way too far back, but you also don't wanna be tilting your head and looking straight down at the floor. You wanna kinda of have a neutral head position where you're looking straight ahead in front of you. But one day after reviewing the footage of a squat clean workout that I did, I noticed that I was looking straight down at the ground. But the funny thing is, I had no idea I was doing that until I saw the video. Now some people might think that that is not that big of a problem, and while looking down in a clean isn't a huge problem, if you can fix just one small thing in your form or in your performance every day, just think how much better you'll be in three months, six months, or even a year. The second reason on why you'd wanna start filming your training sessions is it helps you to see trends happening in your training sessions. So for example, maybe you're seeing that every time you do a wad that has wall balls in it, you start the wad off with sets of 15 wall balls at a time, but as the wad progresses, you start to see that you start doing sets of eight to 10 reps. Then using this newfound information, the next time you do a wad with wall balls in it, try splitting the sets up into eight to 10 reps. You'll most likely end up pacing the wad a lot more efficiently and even getting a better score in the wad if that's your goal. The third reason you wanna start filming your workouts is you'll start to see small areas that you're progressing in that you wouldn't have known otherwise. Because improvement isn't just measured on whether you score a PR or not. Improvement can be as small as fixing your feet position in a clean or improving your stability in the bottom of a snatch. And the fourth reason is you can compare your videos to videos of elite athletes doing the same thing and further see how you need to get better. This is especially helpful if you're not getting one-on-one -on -one personal training with a coach. And when you're not getting one-on-one -on -one training and someone telling you on specifically how you need to fix your form, you need to be able to identify the areas where you need more work. And if you're watching this and you are new to CrossFit, you might not know what is considered good form and what is not. So a really good thing to do is compare a video of you doing a specific movement to an elite athlete doing the same movement. From there, you'll be able to notice small differences on how you perform the movement versus how the elite athlete performs the movement. And then you can start to determine small changes that you need to make in your form to get better. Okay, so now that we went over on why you would even wanna start videoing your training sessions in the first place, I'm now gonna give you a few practical tips on how to film your training sessions. Now obviously filming your training sessions is pretty straightforward. You just prop your phone up and hit record. However, here are a few practical tips to keep in mind. The first tip is make sure you're filming yourself from different angles so you can get different perspectives on how you're performing. You can film yourself in the front, from the side, from the back, or even a 45 degree angle. And while this isn't that important, it can be helpful. For example, if you're doing a clean, you might wanna film yourself in the front for a few reps to see if you're having trouble tilting from one side to the other. But on the other hand, if you're just looking for a simple catch-all angle, then a 45 degree angle works great. The next tip is to make sure you're filming yourself doing more things than just lifting weights. We briefly touched on this a little bit before, but make sure you are filming yourself doing wads, burpees, pull-ups, gymnastics, and every other aspect of your training. And when you're filming your training sessions, keep in mind that you're looking for more than just bad form. You wanna be keeping tabs on how you're breathing, how often you're taking rest if you're doing a wad, and you just wanna generally be thoughtful on how you're performing. And the third tip is to slowly scrub through your videos or use an app to turn your videos into slow motion. This will help you to really scrutinize your form and show you small areas where you need to critique your technique. Okay, so we went over a few reasons on why you'd wanna start filming your training sessions 
and a few practical tips on how to film your training sessions. Now I wanna show you three tools that'll make filming your training sessions a lot easier. Now the first two tools do cost money, however the third one is completely for free and if you wanna pick up any of these tools, I'll have some links in the description below. Okay, so while you can definitely just pull out your phone and prop it up against something and start filming your workouts, this first thing on the list is gonna make life a lot easier and that is a tripod for your smartphone. Using a tripod for your phone when recording yourself in the gym is gonna make life a lot more easier because you're not having to find something to prop your phone up against and you're not having trouble with your phone falling down <laughs> right in the middle of you doing a movement. Now, now there are a lot of really good tripods on the market, but I really like the Arkan tripod. It is only around 20 US dollars and it is extremely durable. It's definitely not like some of the cheap little tripods that you see some people have in their gym bag. A few other reasons on why I really love this tripod is it can hold your phone in portrait mode and landscape mode and each leg on the tripod can bend, which means you can bend this thing around racks or any piece of equipment to get a better angle. The next thing on the list is an external hard drive for your computer for a place to store your workout footage. This is really helpful, especially if you do not have a lot of extra space on your smartphone. Me personally, I don't have one of these, but that's just because my smartphone has a lot of space and I haven't needed it up till this point, but otherwise I'll definitely get one. They're only around 60 bucks on Amazon and depending on which version you get, they can hold up to two terabytes of storage. Now, another alternative to using a physical external hard drive is using a cloud service like iCloud or Google Drive. The only downside of these services is you have to pay per month once you exceed their base storage limits that are offered for free. But a good thing about using a cloud option is you'll have access to your footage directly from your phone whereas in a physical external hard drive you have to go to your computer every single time you want to even look at your footage final tool is free to use and maybe you even heard of it already but it is the wad proof app the wad proof app is free to use and the reason I wanted to include it is because it lets you film your workouts while running a timer at the same time. So if you're gonna do a wad and you're wanting to film yourself and you don't have access to a timer, this app has you covered. Also, the app gives you audible countdowns and other time cues as well, so that's really helpful. Okay, so like I said, there are links to those items as well as other helpful videos and resources in the description below. But until next time, train hard team, and I'll see you later.